Hey, what's up, and welcome back to the channel all about life skilling. Gathering is needed for almost all the life skills in Black Desert, and picking flowers is no exception. But you may be asking, why would you ever pick the flowers that grow all around Calma Sylvia? Well, grab a cup of coffee and let me show you. Today I'm out here in the Navarn steppes in Kama Sylvia. The reason why I'm out here picking these flowers is because they're all used to make different elixirs. These elixirs are worth a nice amount of money when sold like the Spirit Perfume Elixir or the Blue Grade Loony Elixir. This area is great for collecting violet, blue, and sky blue flowers with ease as long as you avoid the mobs. With so many flowers, there should be a good profit to be made. To other places, flowers can be gathered is like Lake Flandor and Grana, but with small patches in Flandor and Grana always having people around, gathering can be slowed down a little. And before I start gathering, I'll make sure I'll have all my buffs on and my pets are ready. Here is my gathering mastery. But now that I'm ready and my llama is following me around, it's time to start picking these flowers. Running around, I take all the flowers I come across but the yellow flowers since I have no need for them. And the main goal is the blue flowers. The more I can get, the more XP I can get in alchemy and maybe some extra money. Now, be warned, this won't make you hundreds of millions for just simply gathering these flowers. These do, however, drop black gem fragments and all the special fruit and sharps and hearts. With the spirit dust, I will be able to make some cafras to sell at the end. Weight shouldn't be an issue with throwing out all the trade items, but just in case, I do have my storage maids on hand. And, I have my tent up to keep my tools repaired with all the flowers being around. With the flowers being scattered around enough to start respawning, I can stick around longer before changing channels and starting all over again. Really fast, comment down below on how often you gather these flowers or if you didn't know you could. I'm curious if this is something that's regularly done. While you're down there, be sure to drop a like if you have been enjoying the content. After an hour, here's what I was able to get, but let's keep going until the end of the meal is done to make sure we have more than enough flowers to do whatever we need. I will use most of the blue flowers making the spirit perfumes, which could make a good amount of money. I'll probably make a video or live stream skinning out here too, since it can make a lot of money and it is one of the ways to get one of the infinite potion pieces. Luckily, I can run fast enough to avoid being killed, but avoiding the panthers here is a great idea while in life skilling gear. This I can see won't be a great way of making money just by gathering, but at least I can process down these more and make more than just posting the flowers on the central market. With my energy and seafood crons meal coming to an end, it's time to wrap this up and head back to Grander to see what I was able to make from all this. Now that I'm back in town, let's start listing everything and see how much I've made while picking flowers. Starting out with the flowers, the blue flowers were able to make 34 mil, the violet flowers made 30 mil, and the sky blue flowers made about 12 mil. I took everything out of the bank to show you guys the value of all the fruits, which made a total of 37 mil. Going into the hards and sharps, I was able to make 11 mil on the hards, and the sharps made about 10 mil. And after making all the kaffirs, I made 132 mil. Finally, the black gems made me about 41 mil. For those of you who are looking for a way to make hundreds of billions, this is not the prospect for you making a grand total of 279 mil. To be honest, this really shocked me when looking at how much I really made considering when I started it, it was a slow start. As you can see, gathering flowers isn't exactly the best way to make money but when used for alchemy you can make more money. This shouldn't be overlooked though, just being shy of 300 mil for just picking flowers. I hope this helps you find those flowers and start making those comma elixirs easier. If you want to see another way to make silver and black desert online, be sure to click this video here. I will see you in another episode of Life of a Shy where we're gonna go sap collecting.